What up, what up? Um, today, more Bleach stuff, more anime. I got some more stuff coming. I've just been, oh man, getting stuff done. We're starting to like a little Bleach epidemic with uh, t-shirts in my little area. So, <laughs> look out for a couple more soon. Um, shouts out to my cousin Sweets. Oh, what up? Um, yeah, today, it's a guy in Toshiro, um, and it's Zanpacto Horimaru. Yeah, I know my pronunciations and articulations ain't the best. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Um, Ice Dragon, basically, sum it all up, and the guy who controls it. Watch the series, because, like, if you've been following me on YouTube by now and you haven't started watching some of these series, kill yourself. Seriously, you suck. But um, basically, I did this, you know, do a little photo manip work, uh, show you something. Um, coloring in, you know, the sash. If you watch me do the green, when you're doing your shading, especially when you're building your layers, um, just that, do it in layers. That's why when you're doing your dark to light work, if you fade your darks out. You get a, a much better look once it actually fades into the light versus it being like, you know, just a, a solid color. Yeah. It's like think back to art class when you were little. Before you learned how to shade, you just colored everything in one smooth motion. Um, flesh tone. Again, it's my own personal mix. Um, again, hey, if you can't find a color, mix it. If it looks good enough, mix a lot of it. That way you have some for later, seven handle. Instead of having to, you know, worry about running out, etc. etc. Um, coloring in the hand, you know, is nothing too hard in particular. You should be able to do this by now. Not miss much stuff. Again though, um layers, you know, layers, layers, layers. Um work on fading your stuff out at a guy in the UK. Asked me for a couple tips. Um, forgot your name. What's up, dude? You know who you are. I like that dude's work. He's actually pretty cool. Um, me personally, keep two hands on the airbrush for control. My left hand is actually holding my uh, paint cup, and I'm actually kind of moving with my right. But two hands kind of helps you stabilize. Well, at least for me. Um, and line work outside of that. Don't quote me, you'd have to ask me something directly. Yeah, got me cool. Alright, um, you notice, you know, like I said, I'm doing my flesh tones. Um, my color orders, I really don't have a particular order that I do them in. I just kind of grab the first color that I see available. Um, working within dark to lights, let me rephrase that. Like, you see, I'm working on the skin tone now versus where. You know, I went ahead and did the sash. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. Just as long as you're working from dark to light, you pretty much be okay. Um, finishing up from there, if you're looking at what I've got going on now, the G is black, but airbrushing black sucks. I'm not even gonna lie. You can't see, you know, any detail work, uh, any of the folds and the ruffles and the clothes, so, you know, I actually did it in, uh, gray, basically, for you to see it. Now, if you're looking at the robe that's on top, it's, uh, um, white, so, again, personal preference, feel free to do any other color, though, do my whites in gray tones, you can do it in blue tones, etc., 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 so, you know, feel free to have some fun with it. Um, another reason why I did this one in grays is because his hair, shouts out to the artist, um, you know, he's white hair, so it's done with um, grays, silvers, etc. Um, my light gray is mixed, of course, like I said again, hey, mix your own colors. If you're looking at it, um, you might see I left like a white line on the side of the picture. Um, but I'm actually doing my white highlights now and I skipped that line. Um, this is basically what I mean by photo manipping. Um, play with some stuff sometimes, you know. Might come out with something you like. This in particular, with them being 
and ice dragon um i want to leave space to give the whole thing like a uh, light blue highlight opaque paint covers up a lot easier but again watch how you shade with opaques um here you can see the finished product like i said the uh kind of blue light blue glowish effect that i want to put on the picture al seville on twitter al seville on facebook 